guys, welcome to episode uh, 7 of our Minecraft mod tutorials. Sorry I've been posting a lot, um, it's really my bad, I just had a lot of things to do. I've been working on this website, and uh, well that's my own personal thing, but, um, and then I also have a lot of th things to do for school, because uh, as many of you should know, unless you're not in school anymore, um, uh, sorry, what was the answer? Um, I have school and I have a lot of work, I had a lot of work to do, because they had an error in the system, and it's a long story, but, um, uh, first thing, uh, today we're going to be showing how to add recipes for our, uh, well, I'm going to show how to do it for the apple, but you can even do it for your tools and stuff, it doesn't really matter. There's two different kinds of recipes, there's a shapeless recipe, which I'll explain that, and there's a shaped recipe. Um, also, something I realized in our code, um, where we have the item IDs, uh, for our tools, I never really switch those because we just copy and paste them. You don't have to switch them if you don't want because they don't really work in this uh, current version of a uh, Forge. So um, if you want to change it, so when they fix that, um, it, but it should cause no problems um, with your code. I, it's just if you want to do it, it kind of bugged me. So um, I already went ahead and created a recipes note right here. If you don't know how to do that, uh, two slashes and then recipes. Um, you don't have to do that, it's just for organizational purposes. Um, you can, you don't have to, like I said. <laughs> but um, I just do it because it, it'll be easier to find for me. The, your, this uh, a note is something that the code does not read, which you should know by now. Um, so let's go ahead and do our first thing, which is a shapeless recipe. So how you'd want to do that is you want to do a game, capital G, a registry. Uh, it's all together, no spaces, and then a period, and do add. Um, and then find on the list shapeless recipe. Now, um, as you see, we have this thing called an output. And now, what output is is uh, what the, what item we are going to receive if we do this uh, this crafting recipe. Uh, so go ahead and delete where it says output and put a uh, type in new uh, capital I item uh, couple, capital S stack. There's no space in item stack. Um, and then do brackets. Um, and then we change brackets. We want to do the item or block. You can do item and block. It's going to give us. Um, now, if you're going to do a custom item, uh, like you, you want to go by the name you named it. Um, so that's only if you have a custom item, though. Um, if you so, let's say if I want to spawn our diamond apple. Well, I called it apple, but um, you in the brackets you just uh, apple. And it'll give us our custom item, which was our apple. Um, now, it has to be spelled the same exact way, capitalization, anything. But um, in our shapeless recipe, I'm not going to be doing any custom item. That'll be in our shape recipe. So, um, um, uh, if you want to do a, uh, an item or a block or in the game, you would want to type in blocks. Dot. It, it comes up with a list of blocks. Um, and if you want to do items, uh, you would type items make sure they're capitalized at the beginning and then here's a list of items uh, that are already in the game that's if you want to do an item or box in the game uh, in this one I'm gonna um, I'm going to be making how I'm just gonna like make a random block so let's go ahead and do blocks dot uh, why do we do bedrock you can't make because you can't make bedrock, so it'll, it'll be a true example of something. Uh, and then the parameters are the things it's going to take. So how do you, um, how you'd add per, uh, parameters? Since it is a shapeless recipe, uh, w what shapeless means is I, if, uh, let's say I wanted to make the bedrock by placing two pieces of paper um, in our crafting table. Now, I can place these two pieces of paper in any section of my crafting table, and it will still work. Uh, example of a shaped recipe is like making a diamond pickaxe or something how it has to be p each item has to be put in a certain way but um, so we're gonna type in um, now how to add things like that um, since we're in our parameter section now oh we go ahead and type I'm gonna make it take uh, a block uh, let me think uh, I'm going to make it take a bucket of lava and a bucket of water no. Uh, just for example, I'm gonna make it take two pieces of paper. Um, just for example, so we'd want to do uh, items dot paper 
paper. And then we do, uh, we can't um, just state that we want to do two by doing comma two. Uh, we have to do comma and then type this in again. So items dot paper. Now let me remind you, uh, you can do up to nine of these because there's nine slots in a crafting table. Um, so we got two pieces of paper. Um, and then if you want to add a block, you just do comma block dot uh, then you're blocked but I'm just gonna do two pieces of paper for no specific reason um, but yeah uh, like if you want to uh, you can only have up to nine of these I believe because there's only nine slots in a crafting table so uh, if like you can't um, if you want to have more than like make it take two pieces of paper you have to do or two whatever two two blocks whatever block or item you want to do you just have to type in items you have to do it twice. There's no other way. You'd have to do it twice. Um, so, if we go ahead and run the game, I'll go ahead and let the game run and then come back. Okay, we're back in the game now. And if we go ahead and go to our crafting table and we have two pieces of paper, um, if we play two, look, uh, we can go ahead and get bedrock. Um, now, as you can tell, I could place these pieces of paper anywhere. Well, two pieces of paper anywhere. And it'll still do it because that's the point of a shapeless recipe. Uh, if you want to make it give you more than just one item, uh, all you would do is go to new, where it says new item stack and then your block. And after where it says uh, the states of the block, you'd want to do comma and then type in whatever number you want to give. So if we do, you can only go up to 64 though. Well, you can go higher, but it would be a weird stack, I guess. Um, and if we did 64 it would, or 32 or whatever you want to do, give it two. Uh, it'll give us two bedrock. Um, but you understand so if you type in uh you type in the number there of which you want it how many you want it to give the player sorry if i'm stuttering a lot so now if i put in two after the comma it'll give us two so yes uh now let's do a shapeless a shaped one uh sorry this video is taking a long time uh game edge three dot add shape recipe okay now the output of course is the item is going to give the player so uh let's go i want to make uh one for our diamond apple so we're going to go uh new uh i did a capital n uh new uh item stack make sure it's capitalized um uh, and then do our brackets and then we change brackets we're going to go ahead and type in our custom block uh, blocker item and then the parameters is of course the things to take out this is kind of confusing um okay so we're gonna do we, we want to place uh quotation marks and we want to place and make sure there's two of them in each one so uh we want to put co uh two quotation marks a comma um, two quotation marks a comma and then two quotation marks now automatically it should just place two just by Pressing the key for quotations uh, should just put two instead of one. Um, but yes, um, okay. So each one of those qu quotations uh, stands for a layer in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand this because it's hard for you guys to see it, but that did not help at all. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, just zoom in. Um, so um, this is the top layer for the uh, crafting table this is the middle layer and this is the bottom layer of course um, so how this is done if uh, so it goes by letters and this is gonna take up a little time for the video so how this works is it goes by letters so if we put um, P for PPP for a top row because um, uh, later in the code we're gonna state what uh, P stands for what item or block it stands for so if we made it diamonds and um, that means um, like this top row, we'd have to fill up with di uh, diamonds. Um, like you understand. I, I I hope you understand. If you don't understand, I'm gonna leave my Skype down in the description, and I'll personally should tell you guys um, and go through it with you guys. So uh, there's PPP. Uh, you can type in any character you want. So you can type in XXX. Uh, they don't have to be capitalized either. I'm just gonna make it capitalized. So we're gonna do a. Uh, a diamond apple so I'm gonna go ahead and so for for our example X is gonna be the diamonds and uh, we're gonna do I guess a for Apple so um, X uh, a X and then here's our bottom row and it's gonna be XXX so um, 
yeah so I hope you understand that it's kind of confusing um, let me go ahead and run the game and show you what it's gonna look like okay I went up and loaded just default minecraft um, and um, of course it's not giving us thing because we're not done with the code yet so don't think we're done with the code and you have some error because um, we're not done with the code yet so as you see move my mic closer to me um, so the X's in our code stand for diamonds and our A stands for Apple. Now these these uh, characters could be anything you want. So we could put PPP, um, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, now if we wanted to like, for example, let me put my X's back. Um, if we wanted it so we don't have to have a diamond there or a diamond there or where, wherever you don't want your diamond, um, you would just like uh, go to the row in the code and delete that. But put a space. You got to put a space. You can't just have no character there. You got to have a space. Um, so, like, let's say we have an entire top row gone. Well, there's got to be three spaces in between uh, these quotations. Um, and, like, if we had that, then that means this entire top row would be gone. Um, if we left it like that, and it would be like that, and it would give us it. But we're not talking about our code yet, so let's continue. I just want you guys to understand uh, how that works. Um, so, yes. Um... So now we're going to state what our characters are. So we're going to do a comma and then do two uh, do two apostrophes, which if you don't know where that is, it's the same key as where quotation marks are. Uh, just don't press space and click that key, I guess. Um, and now we're going to type in capital X or whatever character you put in for diamonds. Um, and then you're going to do comma again. And you want to type in what item uh, X stands for. So in our example, it's going to be diamonds. So we're going to go item dot diamond and then um, for now we're gonna state what a means so we're gonna do uh, apostrophes two apostrophes and be in between that we're gonna do uh, uh, a or whatever character you put um, and then we're gonna do comma and stay our item so items dot apple and end it with a um, quotation mark not uh, sorry not a quotation mark a semicolon sorry guys um and, and that um now of course you can have as um like you don't you don't have to have just like two different items like i hope you understand the system and how it works oh i got spaces right here sorry guys um i hope you understand how the system works so this is the top row this is the bottom row this i mean this is the middle row and this is the bottom row. I, I really hope you understand how this works. And we have X standing for diamonds and A standing for apples. Now, this remember, these characters can be whatever as long as you state them over here and state what they are. So if we wanted to add a different item, we can. We can do uh, as many items as we want. Well, I don't know how many different combinations there are. Uh, I guess nine different items. But uh, So if we put P um, in somewhere, well, all we have to do is go to the end of our code and put comma, apostrophe, Oops, posh freeze, and then do P, and then like just state your item or block. So items dot whatever baked potato. Uh, it's just an example though. We're not gonna put that in there. So I hope you understand how the system works. Um, so go ahead and delete that P. Um, if you don't understand yet, just contact my Skype, and I'll totally be help you guys. I I'd love to help you guys. Um, so yeah, and so if you understand this, um, it's gonna give us an apple. Here's our rows, and here is stating what these characters mean. Um, so yes, we should be able to go around this code, and I'll be back when I have the game load. Oh, I'm um, sorry, guys. Um, I did have an error. Uh, if you copy the thing where I was doing an example of like a where P was, where I added the ba baked potato, uh, make sure you fully deleted that because I accidentally had some more in there, and so the code failed. But um, just ignore if you didn't copy what I did there. Okay, guys, here we are in the game. Um, hope it's not too laggy for you guys. Here's a crafting table. So if we go ahead and lay down our apple in the middle and put our diamonds around it, it gives us our diamond apple or whatever you add and we put in there. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to give more than one diamond apple, um, you would just go where you have uh, what item it gives out and then put in where it, I, okay. Right where I have it selected, like where you put the items in between the bracket, where the new item stack is, and just do comma, uh, we'd give it six. So it'll give us six diamond apples. Um, 
I'd have to reload the game to show you guys that, but I'm not going to do that. So, um, if we reload the game, and then, uh, if we did reload the game, I didn't reload the game, but if we did, and we don't like that, uh, it would give us six diamond apples, or how many, what number you put in there. Um, but yeah, my next episode, um, will be on, uh, advanced blocks, which I should have done forever ago. I don't know why I didn't, I totally spaced it. I just like items way more and do blocks, I guess. Um, and then after that, I'm going to show you guys how to add smelting recipes, which should be like a three minute video. Like, on, like that should be like a one minute video. Uh, sorry this video took so long. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys how to do ore generations and then things like that, the fun things, and also make an air, a bow and stuff. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and bye guys.